Detecting low abundant proteins is difficult with conventional microscopy staining methods. The Invitrogen Tyramide Super Boost Amplification Technology boosts fluorophore signals and saves using too much precious primary antibodies. This video will demonstrate how to use the Tyramide Super Boost kits for staining tissue, starting from an unlabeled FFPE tissue sample on a slide. The labeled tissue will then be ready for imaging on any type of fluorescence microscope. The tyramide signal amplification process works by having a primary antibody bind to an antigen. Then, a polyhorseradish peroxidase secondary antibody binds to the primary and enzymatically converts the fluorescent tyramide to its reactive form, labeling the tissue and amplifying the detectable signal at and around the target antigen. This method can be used to detect a single protein or multiplexed to detect multiple proteins of interest. The Tyramide Super Boost Kit contains the vital reagents for the experiment, including the poly-HRP secondary antibody and the tyramide reagent. You will separately need to order a primary antibody that can be used in IHC or spatial biology applications. Other items needed will include common lab equipment, IHC reagents, and a slide humidifier. We also recommend the ImageIt FX Signal Enhancer Kit to help decrease the background noise experienced when working with fluorescent probes. Before you start, optimize your primary antibody concentration and the incubation time for the tyramide reagent. The Tyramide Super Boost Kit contains reagents that need to be prepared as stock solutions. Most stock solutions should be made the day of the experiment. Prepare your tissue sample. If working with a FFPE tissue sample, de-paraffinize and rehydrate the sliced tissue sample. Afterwards, perform heat-induced epitope retrieval. Use a hydrophobic barrier pen to draw a circle around the sample and allow to dry. Tissue samples may have autofluorescence. Exposing tissue to white light prior to labeling is a simple step to reduce endogenous autofluorescence. Non-specific fluorescence or background can also come from the application of fluorescent conjugates of streptavidin, goat anti-mouse, or goat anti-rabbit IgG. Adding four drops of image at FX signal enhancer reduces non-specific dye binding to the tissue sample. Since tyramide amplification requires using an HRP enzyme, it is mandatory to quench the endogenous peroxidase activity of the sample. Afterwards, block the samples for non-specific binding using the provided blocking buffer. Sequentially, label with primary antibody and poly-HRP secondary antibody. Like traditional antibody staining, incubations with the primary antibody can be done for 30 to 60 minutes at room temperature or overnight at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius in a humid chamber. After incubation, wash with 1x PBS three times before adding the secondary antibody. Secondary antibodies can be incubated for 10 to 60 minutes at room temperature or overnight at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius in a humid chamber. Label with tyramide reagent. If multiplexing, the heat-induced epitope retrieval step can be repeated to stop the reaction before proceeding with the next primary antibody incubation. If using only one primary antibody, use the stop reagent. Apply the working stop solution to stop the reaction. Having too much antibody or not stopping the depositing of the tyramide dye will result in overstaining the sample. Perform other counter stains, including staining the nucleus with either DAPI or one drop solutions, including in vitrogen nuke blue, nuke green, and nuke red fixed cell ready probes reagent. After counter staining, proceed to mounting. For this assay, use a mountant with anti-fade properties, such as Prolong or Slow-Fade Glass Anti-Fade Mountants. Prolong Glass is a hard-setting mountant designed for long-term storage. Slow-Fade can be washed off or slides can be stored for imaging at a later point. 
Both can be used by adding a drop of mountant to cover slip and carefully place the cover slip over the tissue section. Keep slides protected from light. Finally, your samples are ready to image using a fluorescent microscope. Using the EVOS imaging system, beautiful images can be captured.